Bars between the lines. Three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. Another sandstorm mode underway. Skunk Works placing up on the Red Alliance rocket ship. Their partners doing the same. Equal force with another hatch panel now. Immediate defense coming across the field by BC Robotics. But Eagle Force able to force their way through that defense. Scoring on that Red Alliance rocket ship. Now BC is back in position. Eagle Force makes the turn. Can't quite get it around. There you go. BC has to back off because of a pin count. And that gives BC the space they need to place up on that Red Alliance rocket ship. 34-29 is your score. Advantage, Blue Alliance. And here goes Blue again, lining up. Cargo, shoot, score down into the cargo ship. Poly Robotics. Cargo again, right next to them. That's pretty convenient. They line up and they shoot and score again. Blue Alliance extends the lead to 10 points now. Funky Monkeys scooping and scoring for Blue. One minute now left in this match. Tough defense there being played by BC. Now trying to defend the defender. 33-74, just trying to get in the way here and keep BC Robotics off of their offensive powerhouses on this Red Alliance. Give them a little bit of space to get something happening. BC breaking free. And contacting Skunk Works. 53 to 50. Blue Alliance's advantage. 30 seconds now left in the match. Once again, close matches like this tend to come down to the half points. Red Alliance finishing off some last minute scores. Now Skunk Works says that's enough. We're going back. Coming into the half. Funky Monkey on level three. Skunk Works consistent. Level three climb. Up goes another cargo. Two seconds, one. Very close. Eagle Force almost finishing that rocket for the Red Alliance. 93 to 86. You see the cards depicted there. The 3374 yellow card is depicted. Carrying that throughout our tournament here for the rest of the qualifying.